the basic principle around zero trust is never trust, always verify. And I think in light of what we've probably been seeing over the last couple of years, the different types of you know marketing campaigns have really come out from a range of different security vendors because now finally what Forrester talked about or what John Kindervog really sort of came out at Forrester back in those days many years ago, uh, it, it's now really set to come to fruition, so to speak. So we were seeing that sort of identity-centric approach of security coming out. How would one demystify zero trust and, and what are the common pitfalls that someone should actually avoid when thinking about zero trust uh, or embarking on a, a strategy like that inside their own organization? Yeah, so I think uh, what what has happened is that, you know, as we have deployed enterprise-wide security architecture, a um, lot of these have now become legacy, right? So, so we had a problem of a traditional way of connectivity through MPLS and peer-to-peer -peer connections and, uh, uh, you know, huge amount of investments in doing so. Uh, we have a problem of scalability because uh, it becomes very difficult to create, uh, you know, get these in that infrastructure uh, respond to the scale that the organization is looking for. So in a way, the control had to shift from a data centric uh, approach, a data center based approach, to more of a uh, putting all the control points on the endpoint. Now, and and the last part. To that is that to be able to really orchestrate those controls on the endpoints, you had to move the control point onto the cloud uh, so that um, the sensing happens on the, the, the endpoint and the orchestration and the decision making happens on the cloud. You know, the network uh, and the security are converging to what we now call as SASE, right? Some other concepts can be now construed as a zero trust architecture, which will perhaps overcome these challenges, recognize this change, and create a more agile and a modern architecture, which is able to overcome these challenges and build a robust security for the future. Some good points there, Vishal. Yeah, look, absolutely agree. Uh, I think if anything, uh, we need to spend more time thinking about how do we link the user to the applications and the content and defining what that is. But even if you sort of take a bit of a step back, I think that the biggest thing that I would say around demystifying uh, zero trust in my eyes would really be around the fact that it's about changing your mindset. 